I will arrest you and your parents if you insult or misquote me online. Hey, wahala. Pastor David Ibiome, no be smart, you know. He don't vex, don't call out all these people that are usually misquote him, saying what he didn't say. Hello, guys, welcome back to my channel. To your boy Chichi, thank you for listening to me on this channel. Alright, so this video goes out to those people who are fond of misquoting or changing the things that um, David Ibiome says. And as a matter of fact, not only Pastor David, though that is being quoted like this even other pastors self and i think he's actually directing his warnings particularly to the bloggers or those people that own a facebook page always saying that um, saying things that he didn't say and also adding their own magi and time to spice up their gist so that people can visit their page in fact eh, he didn't stop there he said he's going to um, arrest their parents too, eh? But my question is, why arresting their parents? Are you trying to say that their parents didn't bring them up in a good way and well-behaved manner? Guys, this David talk sha, has made many people talking too much and reacting. Some are even insulting him. And he made a statement there in the court yesterday during his preaching. Alright guys, all these people who are um, talking about him i hope that some of them are listening to my voice all right and he says all those people who are on their laptop now who have no work they won't listen to what i'm preaching they are waiting for me to say something then boom they will say ibiyeme said this ibiyeme said that you won't hear what i am preaching now your work is to sit down on the laptop i am preaching now some people on social media all they do that's why they are not progressing really because all they do is to listen for what i will say so that they can misquote me <laughs> he said if you misquote me just misquote me i will fight you spiritually physically legally i have made up my mind nobody on social media insults me i will arrest you arrest your father arrest your mother <laughs> i lock you up you know the reason is because you don't lock up people you don't lock people up that's why they are joking it's against ethics to misquote somebody hmm. guys he even went further to say go and ask lawyers i will take legal action against you by the time i tell you 10 billion naira damage because my capacity is 50 billion all your life savings will pay when somebody misquotes you, don't take it for granted. Do you know it is against the law for somebody to snap you in public without your permission? Ask lawyers, they will tell you. You are intruding into my privacy. I sue you. By the time I claim 10 to 20 billion naira, your father and mother will come and beg. <laughs> he said, I will follow you with police, army, prayer and everything next time you will learn how to talk if everybody insults you don't say church arrest the person lock the person up go to court and win the case hmm. let the judge sentence him to imprisonment with green uniform <laughs> this man never seems to amuse me always funny all right let us continue he said the person will leave you alone after locking the person here yeah. so all this i just mention all these words were that of david the bma of salvation ministry and you see how lengthy it is so that means this man hmm, if like say it is serious so i'm pretty sure someone has mister misinterpreted him you know and said something different or maybe he saw another pastor being misinterpreted and he had to pour out his mind before it's too late to make them aware but my question here is if we are to go by his advice of seeing everyone or anyone who insults us don't you think by now prison will be a home for everyone yes now prison we don't fool if why should start arresting everyone insulting him then we will have to arrest he will have to arrest every nigerians pastor david sukwanike calm down you never reach that level low other pastors they've not even come up with this kind of um, advice well I feel at this juncture, we are in this country, nothing can be done about this issue. Everyone has started opening 
um, Facebook page and doing what they know how to do best and most of them are just reactions like one of which I'm doing now reacting to what Pastor David Ibiume says and they are really any uh, living from it hmm. now you go tire sha as a matter of fact we are even making you pastors to be more popular yes now you want arrest person papa and mama we not do anything guys I don't think this man is joking anyway you know among the men of God David Ibiume loves to joke yeah, he loves to joke too. And um, his preaching is outstanding. And you won't want to miss any of his preaching, any of his sermon. So let's get to see what uh, people are talking about this. Um, his advice, this um, warning that he has given to everybody talking against him or misquoting what he says during his preaching or anytime he's been interviewed. And on Facebook, many Nigerians are not smiling at his message. I even read where um, someone wrote and even called his name saying David Biome, it'd be like say you don't mad. As a matter of fact, the person even said he's mad. Hmm. Can you imagine? This is how people bring bad luck to themselves and their family, even generation self. Because many of them I think say all oh, these men of God are fake. Not all of them are fake, oh not be my mouth and I go, yes, say all of them are fake. When you can't actually tell the real one from the fake pastors. All right, guys. So let us look at what people are writing. This first person wrote, Kelechi wrote, even Jesus Christ who claimed to preach never intimidates his critics. All these pulpit bandits. Now your mumu followers, money they give you this pride. Mm. So he's trying to say that he's earning through, he's making living through the his, the his followers' money, mm. his followers' sweat. Okay, this other person wrote, by the time that the freeze pay 10 billion naira two to three times, a body go calm down. I support this kind of violence, pastor. Just try them. Okay, so we all know he's trying to talk about that the freeze, that the freeze is, so is a controversial. Somebody who came to be a pastor, um, I've forgotten the church is a movement or something, something. People, where? Well, the next person wrote, after them, to, after them go, then go call this one man of God or father in the Lord or stupid things like that. How did he get 50 billion people capacity, right? Mm. They use people money, they make noise up and down. Alaye, go sit down, seeking cheap clouds. Mm. Oh, wow. All right, this next one wrote funny. You criticize government in power, yet you can't take what you dish out. All this pastor opinions. Who are always who are also major problem in this country i trust the generation they will drag the living day lights out of you <laughs> wow this is my first time pastor preneurs okay mm. another new word all right baba everyone are entitled to collect violence is everywhere this country and violence now five and six if anyone is sought you make them collect and if you insult anyone, you go collect. So all this arrest of a thing, no necessary, sir. So everybody you can see that they are opposing what he's saying or what he said. Anyway, I just hope that he won't arrest anybody, and I just hope that people won't speak ill of the pastors, so the men of God, whether they are fake or they are real. All I know is that they are out there passing message. All right, guys. So this is the gist and Pastor Biomes warning to people who are misquoting him. Thank you for listening my, to my voice at this moment. Thank you very much. And if you are new here, can you subscribe to my channel, turn your bell icon so you get this anytime I drop it at the doorstep. And until next video, bye for now.